Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Held Phantom 2 gloves. These race gloves show just how much Held care about gloves. They are superbly crafted from gorgeous materials and have a quality that's right up there with the best gloves on the market. Yeah, at £254.99 a pair, you'd want them to be great, and I'll do my best to explain what that outlay gets for you. The main shell is made from kangaroo leather, which gives the best protection per millimetre of thickness, so you can have a thinner hide without reducing the levels of protection that you can get. The palm section is thinner than the back of the hand and it gives beautiful feel for the controls. It's made from just two pieces of leather, one for the outstretched section of palm and one for the thumb. If I move the wrist restraint to one side here, you can see that there's one piece of leather from the tip of the finger all the way to the cuff, which is a real rarity. That section is stitched to the thumb section here and this overlay here goes over the top to guard the seam against abrasion and premature wear against the handlebar grips. It's pre-curved to give you nice feel for the bars and it wraps around those handlebars without developing creases. The feel through this material really is supple. The base leather continues behind this tougher overlay at the heel of the palm which beefs up the protection and it also holds one of Held's more unusual protective materials. This textured material here is Stingray skin. The original Held Phantom gloves were the first gloves to use Stingray and it survived through onto the sequel, the Phantom 2 gloves. The idea is that Stingray have evolved over millions of years to have abrasion resistant skin. It's quite helpful for a creature that spends its life sliding around on a sandy seabed. It's a pretty tough and inflexible material, so you couldn't make a whole glove from it, but it works really, really well in this area. As well as increasing abrasion protection, it slides quite easily, so it acts a bit like a scaphoid slider, cutting the chances of your wrist being caught under your body in an accident. Somewhere at home in my tip of a garage are the remnants of a pair of original held phantom gloves. They took an absolute beating in a crash at Cadwell Park, but they did a great job of keeping my hands safe, and much of it was thanks to that bit of stingray skin there. The fastener on these gloves is a variation on a classic theme. The wrist restraint is Velcro, but the base of it is contained in a leather tunnel, as Held call it. This means there's no loose flap of leather around the wrist that, like you would get on many gloves. The cuff flap is also Velcro, but it's smaller than most, and it has a section of elastic within it, so you can get a strong closure without affecting flexibility. Moving to the back of the hand, it's made from a thicker section of kangaroo hide, as feel is less crucial here, so it's less a case of balancing protection and dexterity. There are loads of super fabric panels to give extra protection against abrasion and to also reduce friction buildup. Accordion panels on the first two fingers give more flex in the busiest area, and there are perforations between the fingers to allow some air to get through. There's a panel of perforated leather just in front of the wrist and there's also an air intake that sits in front of that to drag some cooling air through. That sits behind this knuckle armour. It's a panel of plastic that has a titanium shield on the exterior and then there's a layer of foam on the inside to give impact protection. That forms part of a CE Level 1 pass for these gloves which includes the impact protection from that knuckle armour. The gauntlet section of the glove is heavily armoured with plastic that's sandwiched between foam on the inside and super fabric on the outside to provide abrasion protection. This is one of the most vulnerable parts of the body in an accident, so protection there is crucial, especially when you're riding on track. The last thing to point out on the outside of these gloves is a bit of a held characteristic. There's a rubber visor wiper blade here on the left forefinger. These gloves aren't designed to be used in the rain, but Held have put a blade there just in case you get caught out in the rain. Fair play to them for doing that. There are some companies that don't fit any kind of visor wipe at all, even on their waterproof gloves that are clearly designed to be used when the weather's ropey. So last up on these gloves, the interior. Just in case the protection from the kangaroo leather isn't tough enough, the whole of the back of the hand is lined with this abrasion resistant aramid fiber material. Held 
now make a wide range of bike kit and a load of it is really good innovative stuff but gloves are still their forte. Things like that visor wipe on a non-waterproof glove show you how much they care about their gloves and something else that shows that dedication is the range of sizing options. If you're the sort of rider who always finds the fingers are too long or too short then this next bit's for you. Each size of these gloves comes with three finger length options. A regular finger length is the sort you would normally get with a glove. A short finger length is the kind you'd get from going down a size and a long finger is the kind you'd get by going up a size. So you get to have shorter or longer fingers without compromising on the fit around the hand. I really enjoyed wearing these held Phantom 2s in the summer when the weather suited them down to the ground. They give real finesse for the controls on the bike and they make everything about riding so much more touchy feeling than it could otherwise be. Owners who've bought these gloves seem to back that up. Out of the reviews that have been left so far, 11 of them give 5 stars and 2 give 4 stars. At £254.99, these are expensive gloves, there's no getting away from it. Out of nearly 2,000 glove models on our site at the moment, there's only 16 that cost more than these Hell Phantom 2s. But it's often the case that the really good kit comes at a premium, and these gloves definitely meet my definition of really good kit. I hope that tells you everything there is to know about the Held Phantom 2 gloves, but if there's anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.